In this video I'm going to attempt to paint this piece of furniture um, with real paint, wall paint actually mixed with uh, fabric softener to make it look like um, like leather I guess. Um, I've seen this video on YouTube uh, done by Lily Adore. Uh, I will link her video in the description and um, I am going to give it a shot. Can't wait to see what happens. I am actually pretty excited. I want to see if I can salvage this piece of furniture because it's a nice sturdy furniture. So I am doing two to one ratio so I just eyed it. I did two parts paint uh, and one part fabric softener uh, and that's it. I'm so sorry about the quality of this video. It's really hard to pour from that big jug into um, that cup. I was just really nervous not to make a big mess. So as I was mixing the paint and the fabric softener, it was getting thicker and um, I was nervous, but it turned out okay. So here I did water and fabric softener half and half and I just went uh, with the brush and wet the um, furniture a little bit. Um, I didn't do this for the whole piece, I only just dipped it in there when I felt like it was getting a little bit too rubbery and it helped to spread the paint a little bit better. The paint went on so smoothly. I was enjoying this part. Oh my goodness. And um, I was actually able to get this done while my baby took a nap. There were a couple of stains on it and with the first coat I feel like it covered everything. And if I got it on my hands it was really hard to take off so I'm having high expectations. This was actually so much fun. Oh my goodness, I thought it was going to be a lot harder to spread the paint because of the texture that it was kind of like rubbery, but it went on so smooth and it was so nice. I loved it. Okay, so here you can kind of see on the uh, arm piece um, the difference in color. So how yellow it was and the paint that I'm using is not pure white it's actually more like a grayish uh, white I just had leftover paint in the garage and I just went with it I did not have to go in and buy new paint which was pretty awesome so I laid a rug upside down on the floor uh, to protect <laughs> my actual rug um, because it was, I could not go outside, it was a rainy day, um, it wasn't raining really hard, but it was like raining on and off, so I was anxious to get it done, I was like, I'm not gonna wait, because it, it showed rain the whole week, so yeah, I just wanted to get it done, and just went on and did it inside. So... At first, I grabbed two brushes. One was uh, a bigger brush and a smaller one. I do not know the size, don't ask me. I just found them in the garage. And um, I found it easier to go with the bigger brush because it was just much faster and it got much more done. So yeah, I guess it was, it's just a cheap brush. I think it's from Walmart. I've seen brushes at dollar store even. Um, they have like, I think three in a pack. So I don't think that you need um, an expensive brush for this project. Uh, you just need something to just kind of spread the paint. So this did the, the trick. So it looked like um, the paint was actually covering pretty well. Uh, but then again, I was inside and I did not have much natural light. It was just like whatever I had um, coming down from the ceiling. And um, But I think it actually, the paint covered pretty well. Like it went on so nice. Honestly, it was fun to do. Like it was really nice. 
Okay, so this piece is not like a piece that we are going to be using to sit on much. This is, just comes at the foot of my, of my bed and it's, um, it's mostly for decoration and just throwing on the, the decorative pillows on it um, when we go to sleep. So I think it will hold on pretty good. Okay, so this is what it's looking like after the first coat. You can still see the print, but I don't think that I'm going to be able to um, completely cover that. But I don't even mind it. I think I love it. It's like white lace, and from afar you can't even see the print that much. So I don't know. We'll see it tomorrow after I do a second coat. All right. So for the legs, I just took them out and I'm going to use this to spray paint them black. I wish I had gray, I don't, and I'm impatient, so. So I used a sand block to sand in between coats and I'm not sure if I would do this again because uh, the pattern on the fabric it was kind of um, like a 3D and it broke the fibers and I'm not sure that I like that very much. Maybe just um, use a buffer and just buff in between quotes. I would recommend that instead of using an actual sander to do it. All right, so it is time to do the second coat. So I've sanded it down. It feels really nice. It actually feels like leather. I'm impressed. So I've got my paint. Uh, so I did two parts paint, one part fabric softener, and we're going to go ahead and get the second coat on. I got a little bit too much paint on this. So if you look closely here, you can kind of see how the sanding um, broke those fibers of um, the fabric and it kind of looks like it was, um, it made it even more obvious. So yeah, buffing would be best. So I've ended up using two coats and this is what it looks like. I love it. It brightens up the space and it looks updated. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Would I do this again? Yes, I would. I would definitely do this again. <laughs>